Father's Day, the day that we celebrate the men who've knocked up a lady one or two, three or four times. So what do you buy an early Bronco lover for Father's Day? You buy him a Bronco. <laughs> so I get it, that's a little bit out of budget. But here are my top five things to buy an early Bronco lover for Father's Day. Men, what you wanna do is you wanna click the share button, share this on Facebook and tag your wife and just say, woman, number two. Don't say woman, cause that's degrading. Mother of my children, number two. To the woman that I love the most, number one, but she might think she's number one, so just go ahead and put, I want number one. But that sounds like you wanna pee. You, you, can, you can figure out how to write it, how to word it correctly. Top five things for an early Bronco lover. Okay, number one, a gift card. This is super easy. All the vendors have gift cards, but ladies, I'm speaking to you from experience. A gift card is fantastic and I love them, but most of the parts that your uh, husband or lover or father of children would like, it's in the 500 to $1,000 range. So a $25 gift card, although extremely nice, uh, will not cover the things that we want. So keep that in mind. But number one, it's a great one. A little gift card goes a long way. Number two, a subscription to Bronco Driver. Like you wanna talk about getting some inspiration, getting some motivation to do some work on your Bronco? This thing, broncodriver.com. Sign them up for a year's subscription to Bronco Driver. It's pretty cheap. It's a good option. It can sit on the, uh, the coffee table and you won't be embarrassed because you'll be seeing this. Broncodriver.com. Sign them up for a year's subscription. Cheap option and a good one. Number three, a little beer and a day in the garage. Having a, a, a six pack of beer and, and a day in the garage. There's not a lot of things that are better than that. And it's cheap too. After a long year of working with the children, here's a six pack, go, go spend a day in the garage. No kids, nothing. Just, just sit there and enjoy, enjoy the, the life of a man in a garage with a six pack of beer. A lot of times when I sit in the garage with a six pack of beer, I'm not really doing anything on my Bronco, but if you walk out into the garage, I'm gonna start doing something. And if you don't drink, like Jay, then uh, you can have a six pack of soda. Your favorite soda drink, maybe uh, um, a Virgin Shirley Temple. All right, number four. This one's my favorite, so pay attention. A trip to super celebration in Townsend, Tennessee next year. You're like, whoa, 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 that's a lot of money. You don't have to buy it all on one time. Go to broncodriver.com, sign up, and give it to him on Father's Day. Then, on his birthday, get him a hotel. Then, for Christmas, get him like $150 or a $200 gift card for gas because it, you know, that, that'll cover like 50 miles. have to do it all at one time you give him the gift card for Christmas you do the hotel for his birthday but right now for Father's Day go ahead and buy him the ticket to super celebration if you need a little inspiration check out the video it's a good little present now and it's the gift that keeps on giving and number five all right I don't really have a fifth one uh, I only had four but uh, saying the top five things sounded a lot better. So here's what I want you to do. If you have gotten something brilliant for Father's Day, if the wife has been like, here you go, boom. Put that in the comments below, help a brother out. Number five is up to you. Let me know, what should, what should number five be? So that's it, that is the top five things to get 
a Bronco lover on Father's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and a special thanks to all the fathers out there who have raised us and uh, who are raising this next generation. You guys are making a difference and a special thanks goes out to me Padre, Mr. Herb Melton, the uh, bass player for the old band uh, Second Chapter of Acts. That's the man who taught me how to pee standing up and he taught me how to be a man. Thanks dad. See you guys.